Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. People are only joining now. We'll wait two minutes. Dear, dear friends. We are again here with a maths topic. And that is ratio, ratio and proportion. Ah, <laughs> ratio and proportion. Hi, dear friends. Oh. Okay. So, Jobin. Yes, ma'am. Do you think our YouTube babies will enjoy this? Yes, sure. They will enjoy this. <laughs> you know, Jobin, I love ratio and proportion, but I might go wrong when you ask me questions. <laughs> because but, I am out of practice. Uh, <laughs> the best thing to do about maths is to practice a lot. Yes. So that the language of mathematics will be in your mind, isn't it, Jobin? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Aren't we giving our six month course students a lot of practice? Yes, a lot of practice we are giving, a lot of questions we are giving. So they will be benefited from that. Yes. You know, offline students are now crazy about maths also. They love it. Yes, yes. They yes. are saying, wow, this practice is really helping. Yes, yes. They are getting rid of the uh, fear of maths, <laughs> actually. Only practice you need to get rid of the fear of maths. What do you say? Yes, yes. Is it right? Yes, yes. Sure, ma'am. It's, it's, it's quite natural. That That is it. That you said the correct thing. <laughs> so, Jobin, after, the, after some time, towards the exam, Shall we do uh -huh. this uh, paper one practice more regularly? Yes, yes, sure, Instead sure. Once a month, once a week. Yes, sure, sure. Regularly we will do, we will do. That will benefit our YouTube babies too. Yes, yes, we'll do that, dear friends. Yes. Okay, so people have joined. Jobin, will you like to? Would you like to share the screen? Uh, yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Online yes. quiz series. Eight. We have done eight days altogether. Wow. Yes. Jobin, would you like to introduce ratio and proportion? Uh, ratio and proportion. Ratio is actually uh, what you have. Uh, it's a part of a fraction. Like if it is two is to three, you are comparing two quantities. And proportion means you are comparing or you are equalizing two ratios. So you'll be having two dots in between. Two is to three, proportion to three is to four. That's It is like that. So you're comparing two ratios in proportion. And in proportion, it is somewhat equal to an equation. You can solve that. Proportional ratio, it is just an expression. Like uh, it, is, it, is, it is comparison of two quantities. We proportion, actually, we, it, is, it, is, it can be solved. It, it can be uh, developed to an equation and it can be solved. So we are comparing two ratios. Is proportion like an equation? Uh, we can solve it like an equation, proportion. Like by taking as it, uh, in the middle of proportion, we can uh, deal it with like, we can make it as equal. We are coming to that question. So we will see them. Yes. Jobin, have you always uh, done maths and ratio and proportion easily? Or was it difficult for you also? Uh, it, was, it was It was a kind of difficult thing. But by regular practice, it made like, how we approach the question is the main thing. If it is like, uh, okay, uh, if we can solve it, if we have a confidence, it, obviously we can solve it. Great then, we'll try. Let us yes, look at the first question. Yes, okay, first one. You know what, guys? Because I don't know how to explain this and I'm also learning. I told Jobin, I will read the question, you do the explanation. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we are doing it. So yes, here is yes. the first question. Shall I read? Yes, ma'am. The ratio of two numbers is three is to two. I, as soon as I hear something like this, I imagine, okay, it is like uh, a big cake mm -hmm. dividing it into parts like that. Mm -hmm. I imagine. Then it becomes yes, easy. Yes, yes. The ratio of two numbers is three is to two. Mm -hmm. The sum of these, their squares is mm -hmm. 468. Yes. Find the larger number. Yeah. Obviously, so the, explain. Yes. the larger number will be just like 3 is to 2. If it is 3 is to 2, you know that. Obviously, the larger number will be the, the ratio 3. Ah. Okay. So, whenever you have a ratio, what do you mean by ratio? It's like you have a specific quantity multiplied with these numbers. 
it can be x so let let you take the number let the quantity be x so 3x and 2x will be the like a common uh, thing will be there in between these two numbers then only we will get the ratio as 3 is to 2 yeah so we'll get uh, we'll take the uh, like uh, the common quantity as x and the numbers will be 3x and 2x so if we take 3x and 2x the sum of the squares so we'll take the squares so 3x square we will take 2x square we will take then we will add and we can we from that we will solve x so uh -huh. we should know what is the uh, same quantity or the common quantity after getting x we can multiply it with 3 and we will get the larger number oh okay 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 that is it good 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 that is easy now yes, now guys have you found the larger number is it 15 12 18 or 21 yes answers are coming man yes <clears throat> Yay, wonderful, wonderful. People are saying 18. 18, ma'am, yes. We'll go with the answer. It is 18. As I told you, the same explanation we have here. Numbers be 3x and 2x. So 3x the whole square plus 2x the whole square is equal to 468 we have. So when we add, it is 9x square plus 2, 2x, 2 square is 4, 4x square is 468. 9 plus 4, you can add 13. So, you will get x square as 36. So, so x will be six. 6. So, larger number will be 3 into 6, 18. Huh. Yes, ma'am, I think they understood. Yeah, that is easy to find out huh. now. Yes, 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 somewhat. You know what, Jobin? I think maths huh. is like going to one place. You should know <laughs> the right way. Then you will ah, reason. Yes, yes. yes. The right sometimes, way of thinking. Yes, sometimes you should be Robert Frost. Like uh, the the road not taken, like uh, uh -huh. the road, road less traveled by, you should take the road which is less traveled by and reach the answer. <laughs> wow, Jovan is giving us literature example. <laughs> yes, in being in Vallath, I, I am more into literature now. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, that's wonderful, guys. Next question. Are you loving this? Yes, ma'am. Next. Next one. What is the number of girls? If the total number of students is 2,400 and the ratio of boys to girls is 7 is to 5. Yeah. Out of total 2,400, yeah. 7 is to 5. Yes. So it is like boys and girls only in the class. So 7 is to 5 is given. So the total part will be 7 plus 5, 12. Yeah. So out of that, 5 of the part is girls. So or we can do in the way that you said already. 7x, uh, 5x. Uh, that is 12x. We will get 12x. Uh, we can find 12x equal to 2400. So we will get x from that. Same thing. And then you can multiply it with 5. Yeah. So is the answer 2500, 1000, 1500 or 3000? Shrishti is already saying 1000. Mm. Others? They are all doing with paper, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Jobin, uh, do you uh, do these questions uh, mentally or do you do on paper? Oh, on paper, ma'am. Uh, mentally, like <laughs> somewhat it I can go make. wrong, right? So in the exam also, they should not try mentally, right? No, no. It, it is, it, it is uh, nice that you try it on paper. Like uh, in yes. the, the exams, we will be tense and also like don't go for our conference. We'll make it in the paper. Okay. So many people are saying 1000 now. Okay, ma'am. Let us so, go for the answer. We'll go the answer. It is 1,000. 1,000. Yes. Correct. Wow. Congrats, guys. The okay. explanation is here. 2,400 ratio is 7 is to 5. Like number of girls is total students into girls ratio units. It's 7 plus 5, 12. The total ratio units I told you. So like number of girls will be 5 by 12 of 2,400. So it is like you will get 1,000 as the answer. Okay, great. 5 by 12 of 2400. Or else, as you said also, 12x we can find out. From that x we will get out. And we will get 5 into x we can find out. We will get the answer as 1000 only. Same thing. That's wonderful. I got it too. Okay, next question. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, question number 3. The sum of money, it is money this time, is to be <laughs> distributed among A, B, C, D. Four people. In the proportion of 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. Mm. 
if four is one thousand more than three. <laughs> you are related directly from that. Very good. <laughs> if C is uh. getting one thousand more than D, uh. four is one thousand more than three. Four uh. 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 is two. Hmm. Like C is getting one thousand more than D. So it's like in the from the ratio also it is clear that three and four it is. So their difference is thousand. Here you so don't C know the total. Ah, uh, we don't know the total, but the difference between C and D that the ratio will take. The difference between C and D it is like four and three, right? So four x and three x we can take. Right. So four x minus three x will be thousand. Correct. So from that we'll get x, and from that then we can solve the ratio. Huh. X we will so, get as thousand. So is uh is rupees five hundred rupees one thousand five hundred rupees two thousand or none of these? The answers options are five hundred one thousand five hundred two thousand or none of these. What is the answer, guys? Okay, Jobin. Yes, ma'am. Answer. It is two thousand. Two thousand. Yes. So, yes. yes. so it's like a shares of A, B, C will be 5x, 2x, uh, 4x and 3x as like C gets 1000 more than D, right? So the 4x minus 3x will be 1000. So from there directly we will get x is equal to 1000. So B's share it is like into 2x, 2, 2 into x is that. So we'll get 2 into 1000 as 2000. So that is B's share. Wonderful. That's also easy now. Now we got the language. Uh, it's easy, ma'am. Like actually, like question will be bigger. Like you don't think it is tough. It is simple. It will be simple. Okay, great. Next question. Fourth yeah. one. YouTubers, are you loving this? Please like the video and share it. The salaries of father, mother and daughter are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. Oh, daughter is getting more. And father is getting the least. Good, good. <laughs> what will be the ratio of their salaries? If there was an increase of 15%, 10% and 20% respectively. So now the daughter is getting the increases also more. So yeah. she will be getting more. Daughter more might be more educated. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> okay. Now the ratio you have to find out. Hmm. Jobin, we have a lot of visually impaired people also listening hmm. to us. So we have to read out the options carefully. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. So once again, salaries of father, mother, daughter, 2 is to 3 is to 5. Hmm. They are getting a raise of 15%, 10%, 20%. Options. What will be the ratio? It is the question. 19 is to 13 is to 15. 23 is to 33 is to 60. 17 is to 37 is to 50. 17 is to 18 is to 25. Guys, what do you think? It's just a tough question for me. It's like, ma'am, if it is an increase of 15 percentage, if you have, imagine that you have 2000 as the income. So if it increases by 15 you can find out the 115 percentage of 2000 so you'll get the amount of uh, what is the like increased income so 2000 into 115 by 100 you can do that i see so the same thing we will do it for here so 2 3 5 we will take it as 2x 3x and 5x or 2a anything okay so if uh, the ratio of 2a is increased to 15 percentage it is like 15 into 2a by 100 it will be like that so it's like somewhat lengthy. Can we go to the options? Yes. And so some like Anna is saying it is B. It's B, ma'am. 23. Wow, it is B. 23. Anna Ji, I am so happy for you. You said the correct answer. Yes, it is 23 to so 33 to so 60. And like we have uh, father, mother and daughter B, 2A, 3A and 5A. Uh, like Jobin, you have to go carefully, slowly, because many people uh, did not answer. I think mm. they must be finding it difficult. So, slowly. Yes, yes. So, salaries of father, mother and daughter. It is given as 2 is to 3 is to 5. 
So I told you there will be a common quantity. So let that common quantity be A. So it will be 2A, 3A and 5A. And now I told you if 15 percentage is increasing, you can get the final amount like 115 by 100. So yeah. like 100 plus 15 you are getting. So 2A, the father is getting the 2A is 115 percentage. So 2A into 115 by 100, that is 230A by 100. And the same as mother, daughter, we will get 3A into 110. 10 percentage means 110 by 100. 20 percentage means 120 by 100. So it is like 5A into 120 by 100. So it is 600A by 100 and 330A by 100. Now, if you want the ratio, we will cancel all the A and all the hundreds we can cancel and all the zeros of 230, 330 and 600 also we can cancel. The ratio will be 23 is to 33 is to 60. Likewise, we are... A lot doing. of calculation. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am, but it is simple. Like, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. have that, uh, the, the 15 percentage, if it is increased, if you have 115 by 100 in mind, you can calculate. Simple. That's true. Ravi, I'm so sorry. I didn't notice your answer. I thought you were answering for the previous question. Ravi also answered correctly. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Wonderful it is. I hope everybody got it right. If you did not get it right, there is a thing, something you can do. You can pause the video or take a screenshot and watch it again. Do it with pen and paper. Okay, good. Okay, next question, please. The seats for mathematics, physics, and biology in a school are in the ratio 5 is to 7 is to 8. Oh, biology has maximum seats. <laughs> After Maths. that, seats. Maths have leads. <laughs> ah. There is a proposal to increase these seats by 40%, 50%, and 75%. That's not fair. Biology <laughs> already has more and it is getting 75%. <laughs> what will be the ratio of increased seats the same question man same ah correct same pattern like i thought that let them do in a like same pattern they will get the practice so they will be very familiar with these questions so we will it is like 140 by 100 increases there yeah exactly exactly 140 by 100 into 5 into 5 ah, like next one will be 150 by 100 into 7 ha ah. 175 divided by 100 into 8. Ah. By cancelling all the 175 like that, we will get the answer. Everybody is saying C. Anakamachi and Ravi are saying C. C, okay. Can we look for the answer, ma'am? Yes, please. Oh, it is A. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think because that's uh, a lot of calculation. They might have ah, not yes. they might not have done on paper. That's yes. it. Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Like where you have it is 140, same thing you they have done, 140 by 100 into 5x. Like x, if you didn't take x also, it is uh, not a problem. But like for the basic things, I have put this, they have a common quantity x. 150 by 100 into 7x, 175 by 100 into 8x. Ah. So when you cancel all this, we will get 7x is to 21x by 2 we will get. There the, in the second ratio, we have a fraction by 2 is to 14x. So what we do is, we will multiply that 2 with all other ratios to cancel that 2. That is how it will become 14 is to 21 is to 28. And you can cancel that whole by 7. That 14 is to 21 is to 28, you can cancel the whole by 7. It will be 2 is to 3 is to 4. Okay. I am sure some people found it a little too fast. Can no, I also yes, read out and explain? Ah, yes, ma'am. Sure. Mathematics, Physics, Biology. Mm. Let it be 5x, 7x, 8x. Mm. Yes. Because the ratio was 5 is to 7 is to 8. Mm. Okay. Now, what about the increased seats? 40% mm. was the increase. So, 140 mm. by 100 into 5x. Yes, that's it. For physics, 50% was the increase. So, 150 by 100 into 7x. Mm. Biology, 75% increase was there. That means yes. 175 by 100 into 8x. Yes. 140 by 100 into 5x is to 150 by 100 into 7x mm. is to 175 by 100 into 8x. That is what is happening after the increase. Mm. Yes. Now we have to cancel this mm. and find x first. Mm. We get 14x 
is to a 28x. Sorry, 21x is to 28x. Sorry, 14x in, is to 21x is to 28x. Hmm. 14 is to 21 is to 28. All are divisible by 7. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. So, 2 is to 3 is to, is four. to 4. That's it. Good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Next one, please. Yes, ma'am. The next one. Again, ratio and proportion question here. Mm. A sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C, and D. Mm. We already distributed some money to A, B, C, and D. Why are we giving them again? <laughs> okay. They are poor, poor people, ma'am. Let them. Let them <laughs> okay, let them have some more. <laughs> so the ratio this time is seven is to eight is to nine is to ten. Wow, good ratio. Seven is to eight is to nine is to ten. <laughs> if C gets hundred more than B, that means nine is. 100 more than 8. 500, man. 500. Sorry, 500. Sorry, sorry. 500. 9x is 500 more than 8. Then how hmm. much B receive? Hmm. Okay, Simple. Like, again, we, had, we had already one, one question. We did it already. Same thing. From that, we will get the clue that 9 and 8 is related. The ratios 9x and 8x is related as 100. Sorry, 500. Yes. Is the option, uh, what, which is the correct option? Is it rupees 4,000, rupees 3,500, rupees 4,500 or rupees 5,000? Mm. Srishti, uh, Danya, Ajit, Sanjo, they are all saying 5,000. 5,000. Yes. We'll, we'll go with that, ma'am. Like, uh, you remember, you recognize that. Danya and Sanjo, right? They are from yes. our offline batch. They are our offline batch students. <laughs> so they won't be wrong. <laughs> Uh, so it's 5,000. <laughs> so it's 5,000, man. Yes. So actually, you have 9, 9x minus 8x is 500, you have. So from there, it is x is equal to 500. So d's share is 10 into 500. You have the d's ratio as 10. So it is 10 into 500. We have 5,000. That is answer. That's good. Wonderful. Okay, then. Next question. Next question. Oh, now it is proportion. Proportion, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. How do you read it? 0 0.75 is to x proportional to 5 is to 8, then x is equal to. Oh. That when two if, ratios are coming, it is uh, proportional to. Uh, if 0 0.75 is to x mm. is proportional to 5 is to 8, mm. then x is equal to, mm. is it 1.12? 1.2, 1.25 or 1.3? Hmm. You can solve this by an equation where like 0 0.75 is to x can be written as 0 0.75 by x. Ah, proportional yes. Can be, proportional can be written as is equal to 5 by 8. So from there, you can solve x easily x. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can solve it. Very good. Ravi is saying 1.25. Mm. Okay, we will look, man. Can we move to 75 by x is equal to 5 by 8? Mm. Yes, let us see. Ma'am, the answer is 1.2. It's not 2.5. Oh, 1.2. I, I think they had a. Uh, Carry with the uh, division part, I think. It's like six, uh, 0 0.75. Our fat wizard Sancho is saying the correct answer. <laughs> 0 0.75x. I will explain to you, Bin. Yes, ma'am. 0.75 by x is equal to 5 by 8. Hmm. You can cross multiply. Yeah. 0.75 into 8 hmm. is by equal to 5x. Hmm. Yes. That means 0. 0.75 into 8 by 5 is equal to mm. x. Mm. 6 by 5, that is 1.2. Yes. yes, yes. Correct, correct. 1.20 is the correct answer. 0. 0.75, okay. Like 8 is going to the up and x is going there. So then 5 will come down. It's like cross multiplication only. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I think they, they did not do the calculation. They saw 5 and 5 and then they thought it must be 2.25. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. That yes, is please. wonderful. Question number 8. If L is equal to 6 by 5 of M okay. and M is equal to 5 by 8 of N, then the ratio of L is to N is dash. L is equal to 6 by 5 into M. Mm, yes, ma'am. So, can you get the ratio of L by M there? Yeah. Huh. You will get the ratio L of L by, by M. M. Correct. 6 by 5. Ah. And then you replace it. Repla if, you, if you get M, you can replace it there and find N. Oh, no, I don't know. No, no. You can get the second ratio of M by N as 5 by 8 also. Hmm. So you ah. can really, if if the M is same in both the case, then you can get the ratio of L and N also. If M is same, like L by M, it is like you can relate. If it is I know. 5. Jobin, ah. L is equal to 6 by 5 into 5 by 8 into N. Ah. That's what. That's what. Hey. You got it. You got it. That's what. L is equal to 6 by 5 into 5 by 8 into N. <laughs> yes. Then 5 and 5 will get cancelled. So it's like 6 by 8 of N. L by N will be 6 by 8. You can cancel it by 2. 3 by 4 will be the answer. Okay. The answer is 3 by 4. It's 3 is to 4. Same thing. Well, please show so, the explanation. I'll explain Just like it. L by M is 6 by 5. M by N is 5 by 8. You have M and M same 5 also. So same. It will be cancelled. So when you take, as you said, it is like L by M is like 6 by 5 into 5 by 8 of N. So beside that, we can because cancel. Because what I did it. is, I said L is equal to 6 by 5 into M. Then I hmm. replaced M with 5 by 8 N. 5 by 8 N, that's all. But the same thing, we can, come, we can compare the ratio here. Where M is same, L by N will be 6 by 8. So if we say 6 is to 8, it will be 3 is to 2. Easy, okay. Easy. I hope you all got it, guys. If there is any confusion, you should stop the video and uh, pause the video, that is, and uh, think about it again. It's easy. Okay, let us proceed. Yes, Ninth please. question. A bag contains coins of rupee 1.5. No, 1. rupee 1. No, rupee 1. Yeah, rupee 150 paise. Yeah. One and a half no, no. rupees. No, no. no. Uh, like coins of one rupee, 50 paisa. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I was thinking, what is one and a half rupees? <laughs> <laughs> I was also just confused. Is my question wrong? <laughs> so sorry. No okay, okay, now I'll read correctly. A bag contains coins of rupee one. Yeah. Then 50 paisa. Yeah. Then 25 paise ah. in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. Yes. Okay. That means 2x 1 rupee, ah. 3x 50 paise, 5x yes. 25 paise. Exactly. If the total value of these coins is rupees 228, mm. then the number of 50 paise coins in that bag is. Mm. That is also easy. Ah, 48, like. Uh... One thing you should take care of, like you should total take, value, not number. Uh, value. It's like uh, it's like total value. It's, it's a total number of fifty paisa coins you should take. So whenever you take fifty paisa and twenty five paisa, you should convert it to rupees. Otherwise, you should convert rupees to paisa. Anything like the unit should be same. Like when you are comparing quantities, the unit should be same. Here, one is in rupees and other two is in paisa. So it's better that you convert paise and uh, like both paise to rupees. So 50 paise will be 1 by 2. 25 paise will be 1 by 4. And the total number is 228. 228, it is saying. And uh, it's C is saying the answer. C, they are saying C. C cannot be. So the answer they are saying is 144, man. That's wrong. Wrong. Is it correct? <laughs> yes, ma'am, it is correct. Ayyo. 
this correct we'll go i, I will check what, what what is the explanation just like it's a long explanation we have i will explain it very slowly ah oh. the ratio of values like 150s we can take like 2 into 1 just 2 3 into 1 by 2 why 1 by 2 means i told you 50 paise should be taken as 1 by 2 that is it should be converted to rupees 5 into 1 by 4 where it is like 25 paise should be taken as 1 by 4 so there we will get it as 8 6 and 5 because you have 2 3 by 2 and 5 by 4 we will take the lcm like to avoid the fraction we will take the lcm and make it as 8 6 and 5 so now the ratio has become 8 6 and 5 so the ratio is like now 8x ah oh, yes ma'am you have No, 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 no. So eight x, six x, and five x we will take, and the total value is given as two twenty eight. From that, we will get the value of x as twelve. By solving, we will get the value of x as twelve, and the value of fifty paise coins will be twelve into six because six a six x is there for the ratio of fifty paise. So we have seventy two rupees as fifty paise coins, and we need a number, like if it is seventy two rupees. We have fifty paise coins. We should multiply into two, right? There will be one fifty, one forty for fifty paise coins. Like it, if it is fifty paise, two fifty paise makes one rupee. So one forty for fifty paise coin, fifty paise coins makes seventy two rupees. Okay, 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 okay. Like at 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 a glance, at one time, if they look, they won't be getting it. But if yeah. they revise these questions, like one once again, if they watch the video, they'll get, they'll get a better idea. The confusion is only because it is not the number but the value. Ah yes 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 ma'am. It's a lot of calculation though. Yeah, I indeed no. It's, it's simple, but one yeah, one yeah. by two will get simple. Like the fractions will get a simple. Correct, correct. Did you get it, guys? Let us know in the chat box. Will you give us some hearts if you liking it? Hats do. Okay. <laughs> last question, ma'am. Okay, last question. Salaries of Ravi and Sumit are in the ratio two is to three. Mm. If the salary of each is increased by four thousand, mm. Ravi and Sumit are both getting an increase of four thousand. The new ratio becomes. Forty is to fifty-seven. Mm. What is Sumit's salary? Mm. The symbol like you can take two x and three x. Whenever you saw a ratio, there will be a common quantity two x and three x. Okay. So they are getting an addition that two x plus four thousand will be there. Three x plus four thousand will be there. Because each value they are getting an increasing right. Yeah. So that new ratio will be become forty by fifty seven. So we can equate that ratio to forty by fifty seven. Very easy. Then we will get the uh, we will get the answer of x from that and yeah, find yeah, yeah. find the value. What is Sumit salary like? We should get the new salary of Sumit, the increased salary. Good, good. Yeah. Let us see the explanation. And the answer is thirty eight thousand. Yes. Like we have original salary as two x and three x as I told you. When it is increased by four thousand, the ratio becomes forty by fifty-seven. Then you can cross multiply. Fifty-seven into two x plus forty four thousand is equal to forty into three x plus four thousand. So by solving, we will get three x as thirty-four thousand. So already we know we need to know Sumit. Sumit is already having a salary of three x. So just if it is you don't want to find the value of x and all, if you have three x as thirty-four thousand. Like you can add four thousand to that, you will get thirty thousand, that eight thousand as a salary, because uh -huh. Sumit have three x salary already. So plus four thousand, it is three x plus four thousand, it is thirty four thousand plus four thousand, it is thirty eight. If you do like by, if you find the value of x and then multiply by three and then add four thousand, the same value you will get. Got it. By for reducing the steps, I did like that same thing. Got it. Got it. Ultimately, when you look at it, it's all easy. Yes, ma'am. Like how we approach the question, like when we, if we get the first step, two x and three x, then it will be easy. 
we should identify that there will be a common quantity when there is a ratio. You're comparing two quantities, there will be a common quantity multiplied. So let, let, it, let it be X and then you multiply and then you will get an idea of what, what should be done. Got it. Okay. So that is the last question, guys. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Please remember to practice. We have questions given in the Telegram group for papers yes. one and two. Yes. And our uh, comprehensive six-month course admissions are still going on. People are still joining because everything is recorded, as you know, and uh, a lot of people are benefiting from it lifetime because you can watch it for a lifetime. I don't think any other coaching center gives lifetime access to videos like this. Yes, and yes, also there are, Yeah, lots of quizzes. Every day quizzes are happening. You should join our quiz program if you need practice. Thousands of quizzes we have given in uh, the questions we have given in papers two and one both. Mm -hmm. They're all there. The links you can still join. It is not an expensive course. And uh, please study well and prepare well. Uh, e even if there is a syllabus addition or change, the first time it will be easy. If you pass this time, if you work really, really, really hard and pass this time, that will be the best. Because after that, because of NEP and syllabus change, there will be a lot of confusion. Don't wait for that. Okay. Net set for all exams. These quizzes and courses will help. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful good evening and good night. Great. From me and Thank you. Bye-bye.